everyone welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel i'm here with a new video i'm very excited about today i um well actually i've had my lily pulitzer agenda i've gotten this i got this in the mail probably a week or two ago yeah I have not unboxed it yet, it's driving me crazy. I just wanted to sit down and make this video so I've been waiting to unbox it and I'm very excited because as you guys may or may not know, I'm a Lily Agenda freak. This is my fifth one, I want to say, I've gotten them the past five years, five or six, I can't keep track. If you guys want to see like an Agenda collection video or like all of my lily agendas leave a comment down below and i'd be happy to do that i've been a lily agenda user for quite some time and i've seen all the changes that they've gone through and whatnot today i'm going to be doing a unboxing first impression of the 2006 2016 the 2017 2018 lily pulitzer agenda and i'm so excited so without further ado, let's get into this video. Also a thing that you may or may not know, I'm in nursing school and it's absolutely vital for me to keep everything organized and write everything down. So I use an agenda religiously, but I've always used an agenda pretty religiously and Lily agendas have never failed me. Like I said, I'm a long time loyal user of these agendas and they work perfectly for my lifestyle and they make me happy and I get so many compliments on them. I bring my agenda everywhere with me, work, school, um, that's pretty much it. I bring it to work and school and anywhere that I really need to like go. I don't like bring it to the mall and stuff or Target or anything but I, I take them, I take it to work at school and just like when I'm planning my life it's with me at all times. I ordered this from Lily Pulitzer, the website themselves, and I asked to have it gift wrap, and I'm pretty excited that I did that. I also purchased one for my little sister. She's entering high school, and I figured it's a perfect time to introduce her to Lily Planners because you need to stay organized in high school to set you up for success in college. So I purchased one for her and one for myself, and I had them both wrapped, and I could not be happier I'm keeping this box forever. It is beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I'm really excited. I haven't, I haven't touched my agenda yet and I've had this for far too long. So let's just, let's just do it. Let's unbox this. I'm so excited. Okay, it's wrapped very beautifully. They do such a beautiful job wrapping. So yeah, this was free to get it wrapped, I'm pretty sure. So if you ever buy anything from Lily Pulitzer, you might as well have it wrapped. I kind of want this Lily Pulitzer sticker. Oh, here's the agenda. This is it. This is my 2017-2018 agenda. And this print, usually the prints are on the back. I will leave the name of this print on the screen. I got the jumbo size agenda. They come in jumbo, large, which is going down in size. I've had the large before. I, I love the large, but the jumbo definitely works better for my lifestyle. I like to write big. So having this large planner <clears throat> suits me. I, I just like to have a lot of room to write. So they have the jumbo, the large, um, the medium, and a small, or they might not have small, but they have three or four sizes that, you know, you can pick to suit your lifestyles. You can get an agenda that fits your needs, basically. Um, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. The different sizes come in an like, array of different prints but certain prints only come in certain agendas and certain sizes. And um, this was my favorite out of the jumbo ag agendas. And this print is called Beach in Bay. It's like sailboats. It reminds me of my one from last year, not the one that I'm currently using, but the one from last year that had sailboats all over it. You Gotta Regatta was the name of that print. So yeah, I, I love it. I love the gold spiral and the gold, um, band in the metallic -y gold details. I don't know if you can tell, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful and it actually feels a little bit thinner than years past, which is a good thing. You don't want your agenda to be super bulky. I got this print for myself and I also got my little sister the jumbo size in the print um, beach loot, which is absolutely beautiful. It's more stunning in person than it even is on the you know website. 
I recommend both of those prints. They are beautiful. If this video gets 100 likes, I will give away an agenda because I want to give back something and that's just going to be a secret giveaway. If it happens, it happens and if it doesn't, it doesn't. Make sure to like this video. If it gets 100 likes, I'll do a giveaway. That's just a little tidbit. I'm peeling the sticker off the back and without any further ado, let's get into reviewing how beautiful this agenda really is. So opening it up, we have, oh this is different this year, there's a little like spot to put your name um, and stuff in there, they ne never had that before. And this is a very pretty floral print and there's always a pocket in the front of the agenda, two-sided pocket which is the same this year. And what does this say? From 2000 Coconuts, they hand painted agendas. Wait, what? Please explain. Um, so this is a little bit of history of the Resort 365 kind of um, story that Lily Pulitzer has been promoting for the past couple of years. I'm not going to read that right now, but you guys can read it if, if you so please. And then that page is followed by a very pretty print. Could always repurpose that if you wanted to and then one of the most fun parts about lily pulitzer agendas is the stickers and just starting last year they included two sticker pages which is absolutely wonderful and helpful and they're always the cutest stickers ever there's like girls night all nighter school's out manny petty date night birthday and then just like fun stickers like pineapples and starfish and elephants and flamingos they're just so cute. The two pages are a little bit different, but similar at the same time. So it's awesome that they give you two sheets. I absolutely think that that is brilliant and I love it so much. Ooh, okay, so after the stickers, this is also a new thing and it says focus on the journey. Wonderless and Adventures Invented. Goals for 2018 and it has some nice lined, um, like a lined page for you to write all your goals down. I love that. I usually write my goals down in the notes section, which I'll get to, but wow, that's that's so cute. I love it. You get another lovely print on the back side, and then you have 2017, you know, just like your standard little calendar to see all the dates. And then I'm guessing 2018. Oh, they give you 2018 and 2019 on the next two pages. And then they always have the dates to celebrate. Oops. As I was saying, the escape plan pages have been very useful for me. This past year, they have your travel itinerary, your activities and your to-dos, and then your packing list, which I find the most useful, you know. Thinking of things to pack is sometimes like so stressful, so if you have it written down somewhere, great. And then the next little section we have is numbers and addresses, which I actually utilize because a lot of my friends live out of state, well they live in all different states because I have a lot of friends from college when I went to SU, like my sorority sisters, they all live all over the United States. So I like to keep their addresses written down so that I can, you know, mail them Christmas cards and invitations and such. So I actually do use this section. I got a couple pages of the numbers and addresses and then you have your beautiful note section. And you have plenty of pages to just write any like notes that you have down. Like I said, I usually utilize the note section to write like my goals down in or um you know i write a lot of affirmations down i write quotes down i use these note pages for a number of things like important um phone numbers of like you know loans that i have important dates that i need to remember i just write anything down in the note section and it comes in very handy they give you a pretty good amount of them something that i've already noticed about this agenda that's different from last year is they don't have the four by four art in it which I thought was amazing to have a little piece of like Lily art in the agenda that you could take out and use in your everyday life. I wish that that was in here because I always like having extra, you know, like Lily supplies on hand. So that's something that I'm kind of missing. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you know, last year's agenda had like a bunch of the 4x4 Lily art in there, which I really liked. So this agenda does not have that, but Again, it's very similar to the format of last year. After your note section, you're going to start right into the months. And I have not looked at the art yet, so I'm really quite excited. So this is starting in August of 2017, and this is pretty swirly print, and it says Guilty Pleasure. And the way the Lily agendas are set up is you have your pretty art for the month. 
And then you have your monthly layout, which I utilize very much so like all the time. I love it. They kind of made the boxes a little bit bigger, I can tell. And then they always include a little to do on the side of the monthly spread. And I always like to write my goals for the month down there. So that I find handy and I like that little section. The weekly views are horizontal and I like it this way. I don't like vertical. I don't think I would like vertical um, layouts. So I really am used to the horizontal. There's lots of room to write. I usually section it off and write a to-do list for each day and then everything that I have to do on the other side. It's kind of how I like to organize it. So let's see, let's check out the next we're just gonna go through and look at all of the monthly um, art. So this is September, Pineapple Paradise. One gripe that I do have is I used to like, I liked how they had like the actual name of the month included in the monthly art, but um, last year they didn't do that either. But it's always beautiful and exciting to see what, you know, each month brings. And then this is October, oh my God. Any fins possible. Let's see, this is November 2017, Canopy Chaos. And then we have December, it says celebrate. I kind of wish that it was like Christmas themed and I wish that like October was like Halloween themed, that would be really cool. But they're all very tropical and like paradise resort looking and they've stuck with that theme for quite some time. And then this is January 2018, which this is my birthday month, so yeah. I, it's not my favorite one so far. I mean, it's colorful and pretty, but I always like my birthday month to be really, really special. And I don't know, this is my favorite print so far, but cool, spring fever, yes. Oh, I like how this is themed. See, lovebirds for February. Perfect, I, I love that, and I love the palms. It's very pretty. And then we have March. Oh, what is this? Trunks up. Oh, they're elephants, I think. It's kind of a little hard to like tell what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's elephants. I like that. And then here's April, Seize the Day. This one's kind of blah as well. I don't like it that much. April is my month of grandmas. Like all my grandma's birthdays are in April. And then we have May. It says coconuts for summer. That's pretty. They're like palm trees. They're kind of abstract this uh, year. I don't hate it. Here's June, Beach and Bay, which is the print on my agenda. Really pretty, there's a lot of blue. July is always my favorite print. They usually incorporate like red, white, and blue, or red, white, and pink, or you know, pink, pink, white, and blue. <laughs> and it says stargazing, and there's starfish. This one is my favorite so far, for sure. And we have August of 2018. It says, come out of your shell. Uh, I can't tell what that is, but not another, another one of my favorites, not, not. Uh, September, ooh, I like this, rock the dock. I love that saying, and I love the purples. Really cute, really pretty. Then we have October of 2018. Ooh, it's like zebra, I love it. Read between the lines. That one's really cool. I like that one a lot. October is also one of my favorite months. And then this is November. <gasps> November 2018. Flamingos flock to the fun. I love this. I love this. I love the animal ones. And then the last print in here is December 2018. And it says Tiki Your Time. And it has some pretty like tropical flowers in it. Oh, I really like that one. And then last but not least, you have the back pages of the agenda and this year they have a print on both both ends which is really pretty I like that these are like peaches and flowers really pretty and then the last print in here is December 2018 and it says Tiki your time and it has some pretty like tropical flowers in it oh I really like that one and then last but not least you have the back pages of the agenda and this year they have a print on both both ends which is really pretty i like that these are like peaches and flowers really pretty um on my agenda from last year i actually used my sprocket and i made like a collage on this back cover so i'm probably going to do the same with that 
this year and yeah the that's the agenda. I absolutely love it. I stand by these agendas. They're my ride or die. I absolutely love them. I will leave Lily Plitzer's website linked down below right to the agenda so you don't have trouble finding them. You can check them out if you'd want to. And again, remember my secret little message in this video. If you want to win an agenda, please make sure to like this video. Unless this video gets 100 likes, I'm not doing a giveaway. Unfortunately, at this time, I just need a little something from from my audience to motivate me to do a giveaway so I'm asking that that's it 100 likes comment down below if you want to win an agenda and share this video with your friends that are going back to school if they need a new agenda highly recommend Lily again this is not sponsored I'm just a loyal fan love Lily Pulitzer I love I've purchased a lot of their items throughout the years and I just love the prints. I love them. They're so tropical. This agenda gets me through my dreariness in nursing school. It makes me so happy looking at the prints. Also guys let me know down below if you want to see how like I organize my agenda, like the pens that I use and like how I use, like how I lay everything out. Let me know because I know that on YouTube there's not a lot of creators who do like Lily Pulitzer plan with me is there anything like that I've seen very few of them I've seen them all so yeah if you want to know how to organize this agenda I definitely can help you I have a whole system that I've been using for quite some time and I love it so much so that'll do it for this video I hope you guys liked it let me know um, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me and I will see you all on another time bye everyone Today I'm going to begin doing some nursing school like advice videos because I have been watching so many YouTubers lately that are in nursing school that have really inspired me.